Welcome to part three. The final product. Rustic but classy. up my design I just ended up epoxying the two ends to um, the level so that it covered up the end grain and also added a little bit of elevation to provide a little bit of airflow just in case it does get hot on the bottom of the uh, PCB. I'm really happy at how it turned out and it's awesome how this glows blue uh, with the blue LEDs. Um, I hope everyone likes it. All right so after I cut down on my cigar mold and painted it this green color, which I'm really pleased that I was able to incorporate my dad's favorite color into the design. Um, I have my mixing tube clock, and I really, my favorite part are the arches in the front. I really like how they turned out and how I was able to widen them. So I'm really happy with the way this turned out. I spent a lot of time messing with springs so that you could push this down, but as it turns out, you can actually just close the case without that. Um, the result of this is that the false floor is a little too low, but I could always fix that in the future. Overall though, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. You may have noticed that all of our designs use the CNC router. While it wasn't required, it's very useful and time saving to use the CNC router. So you may be wondering at home, how could you build one of these cases? And it's actually quite easy. At the end of our antiquing journey, we, I insisted that we drop by this Chinese antique store. And what we found there were these stands that are actually uh, hollow on the inside and fairly thin between the top and the bottom, which means that it's very easy to drill through. And what's even nicer is that all of these Nixie tubes, both the big ones and the little ones, are standard sizes. So for the big ones, all I used was a 3 4 inch wood spade, and for the little tubes, I used a 1 4 inch drill bit. And the I.O. was a little bit less professional, so what I did is I took the drill and I just wiggled it back and forth as it was spinning, and it turned out quite nice. So I'm going to upload on my website a template so that you can just simply print it out, lay it down, drill, and it should be perfectly aligned. Thanks for joining us today. Make sure you let us know who you think won in the comment section. And also check out my website for schematics and more details about this project.